every day. People gather at TEDx events around the world to hear the best ideas bubbling up in their communities. The second day, we this is a day for curiosity and for skepticism, for openness and for critical thinking, for inspiration and for action. We hope their talks spark an exciting conversation among you. What kind of the more you enter into it, the more you'll take out. And now, on with the show. Do you want to live a vibrant, healthy life? Do you want to sleep better? Do you want more energy? Do you want to be able to roll around on the floor with your kids and your grandkids? Would you like to laugh more? How many of you know that you need to drink more water? To exercise more? to eat more vegetables and fruits. Of course you do. We all do. How many of you have started an exercise regimen and you've dived into it wholeheartedly, enthusiastically, and you wake up the next morning and you're so sore you can barely get out of bed? Unfortunately, most of the time it ends right there. So my mission today is to present to you new ways of thinking about stuff you already know. I want to fit into any pair of jeans in my closet on any given day. So does that feel better? Does that feel better to say I want to fit into my jeans? Does that feel better than saying I want to lose 20 pounds? I would love for you to be inspired enough to create your own good plan. Because I guarantee that once you set that intention and put that desire in motion, people, things, circumstances will seemingly randomly pop up to not only guide you to that healthier path, but help you maintain it much easier. Let's say you decide today that you're going to want, drink more water. You'll begin to notice how available water is to you. You'll begin to notice people randomly handing you a glass of water. But it all goes back to your desire. So if desire is first, then permission has to be second. You have to give yourself permission to take better care of you. Now I could beat myself up over and over again for being out of shape or I could congratulate myself for just starting. Which one feels better? Take a walk around the block. Take a walk around your office. Take the long way to the bathroom. Just do it. Just start somewhere. Just eat a carrot stick. Just eat an apple. By definition, for a lot of you, that may be more than what you did yesterday. To me, a good plan also has to include dessert. And in my good plan, that dessert would be chocolate cake on it. Because, you know, when we're, when we're headed on a healthy path, a lot of times the concept of chocolate cake goes on that forbidden list. And it is truly human nature to want what we can't have. So you need to grant yourself permission to eat that cake. Now you need to extend that permission to enjoy it. Guilt free. Because why would you ever consume all those calories without deriving any pleasure? And I guarantee you that the guilt will diminish any pleasure you will get from eating that chocolate cake. Take a bite. You're going to savor it. You're going to taste it. You're going to feel the texture. And most importantly, you are going to enjoy every single bite of eating that chocolate cake. Because again, a good plan is something that you can do, and if a good plan is something you can do, then it's got to include all pieces of it. So start today, somewhere, take one piece, take one thing that I've said, and just do a little bit more. Think back to yesterday and how much you moved your body, how much water you drank, how many vegetables and fruits you ate, and just do a little more today. And remember to congratulate yourself about getting started and acknowledge yourself for taking action. When you do this, your body will thank you.